Mitochondrial dysfunction is huge with children with autism, but what does that mean? Mitochondrial dysfunction is when the cells just can't get enough energy in. That's kind of the bottom line to, to sum it up for you in a nutshell. This coming week in my on my live weekly radio show that airs at 12 p.m. Eastern time, I will be interviewing Dr. Richard Bowles. Dr. Bowles is a an expert on mitochondrial dysfunction, and we're going to talk about things that you might notice uh, in your child, uh, things like fatigue, uh, cognitive uh, inabilities, uh, inability to to have it, they have excess of fatigue. Uh, there's so many so many symptoms that go along with mitochondrial dysfunction, and it's important for you to know that because it even can contribute to digestive problems, constipation. The cells and the muscles aren't getting enough energy to them to push things through. So, and I know that your child with autism, almost all of them have digestive issues. So, want to know why children with autism are susceptible to this, but more importantly, what you can do about it because there is an answer, and I'm looking for to Dr. Bull's interview where we're going to go into, we're going to dive deep into those details and share that with you so that you have some valuable resources. Just about all kids with autism have mitochondrial dysfunction and it can be triggered by uh, things like uh, pesticides, environmental triggers, um, uh, various, uh, various things like vaccinations. So it's important to know what you can do for your child if you see these symptoms and what you can do to help prevent the symptoms and help them get better. And that's what it's really about. Please tune into my radio show again this week, 12 p.m. Eastern, every week. It's at naturallyrecoveringautism.com forward slash radio show. And if you miss the show live, you can catch the link there for live. But if you miss it live, you can also catch it in the archives on that page. And I've also got um, a page on my website that I want to make sure if you need a foods guide, because foods can trick, foods can help your child with autism as well for the digestive issues. And if you eliminate these seven foods, you can pretty quickly see a reduction in the symptoms of autism. And that seven foods guide is right on the home page of my website for you at naturallyrecoveringautism.com. So please, please go and grab that. Uh, again, it's a free downloadable PDF for you uh, to help you take a step today to help your child get better. And that's what it's really about. So please, please share this with others who could be interested in this information. Share this, these links that I just gave you and uh, for everything. And also give me a like and follow me because I have more information, more valuable education for you in the future. I we Weekly, I interview experts. There's a lot of value for you. It's free. Please join me. I look forward to seeing you soon.